So it looks like I accidentally deleted my introduction. Don't know when I did it, but yeah. Mom brain. Let's call it that. Mom brain did it. Um, so quick, this is a tutorial page for bass players on worship teams or those that want to learn how to pick up a new instrument with or a worship leader who needs a bass player. This is easy. I promise. And I'll let you know if it's a little hard ahead of time. But one of the problems I had learning how to play bass, by the way, I played viola, middle school, high school, not the same thing. Different thing altogether. Um, and I swear it was a joke. And they're like, here, you can play a string instrument. You can play this. And I don't have the time to go learning. Honestly, I got kids. I got a life. I have a house I'm remodeling. Yay, old house. And I have a job. So I just looked and found some pretty basic ones. And then from there, I listened, I picked it up, and I made it sound at least close enough to the song. And I learned to even following tutorials that the team didn't necessarily blend in with what I was doing. So I had to change what I was doing so it would sound correct with the team. I've heard it being said that we are the heart of worship because we carry the beat. The drummer does too, but we a little more emphasis on that. They do all the craziness and crash cans and stuff like that. My husband's also the drummer for our worship team. He's one of three. And thank God I have backups because I travel for work. So yep, this is the place. Come check it out. If you're a worship leader and you want to encourage somebody to pick up the bass because you don't have a bass player or you need one for a certain service or whatever, have them look this over. It's not that scary. I highly encourage you to buy a cheap bass if you want to learn. Because you can find out it sucks. I try to teach one of my kids how to play bass. And I think within about a month or two, she lost interest. And I'm glad I didn't spend the money on hers. And I did the same. Mine was on consignment. So I love it. My husband ended up buying a new one from a friend of ours. And him. Learn, he learned all <laughs> child life. Oh, poor thing's homesick. No. Go lay down, baby. Uh, uh, my husband learned how uh, all about bases and surprised me with a brand new one, which you'll see throughout some of the tutorials. She's the one with the uh, tortoise shell red. I love her. She sounds amazing. Right now she's at church, so I don't have to drag her around in the cold of Maine. And in the heat. The summer was really hot. So yeah, it's it really is not hard. Don't invest too much money if it's something that you're not going to do often because I have another one collecting dust. And that's what I'm going to practice with at home now because I felt bad about it. Just collecting dust, my first one. Churches sometimes do invest in an instrument because it's if you have a crappy bass at church, it's not going to be picked up by the sound crew really well. I noticed that with my other one. And she needed a lot of work. So she's good just to be at home and practice. But yeah. So if you have any questions, requests, I will tell you right now, really hard. I had one back in March, I think, from Africa. And I dropped the ball. And I'm really sorry. I should have said I don't have the time. I really didn't. I still don't really have the time, but the ones that I'm showing you are the ones that I've already played or are upcoming ones that I'm repracticing to be correct with the team because things change over time. I noticed that and you'll notice that too. If you do have requests, go ahead. I might already know how to play it. So it won't be so hard for me to just drop one in or I might have it coming up and I just didn't put it in. Being part of a worship team is pretty awesome and you gotta be ready to listen to your worship leader and your team because sometimes what I teach you and stuff I've learned just doesn't fit. But be honest in your ability. If you can't do something, tell them. Because I flat out tell them all the time when it's like, oh, can you do that amazing bass rift? I can't. I will play what sounds correct for the team. <laughs> or I've had it been told before. Um, one of the worship leaders told me exactly what to play because he knows how to play bass. <laughs> And I was able to pick it up in under a minute. Thank God, because it was right before service. That's an extreme situation. But it happens. So, yeah, God is good. And sometimes you don't even know you have talents that you have until they're thrusted upon you. You want to show your friends that, hey, this is pretty easy. Worship leader. Or have somebody pick up another instrument. I understand. It's a commitment that's really strange because of the time that needs to be put in and being at services. I, I know the church that we currently play at has two services on Sunday and we go in on practice on Thursday and they're pretty good. So it's good stuff. It really is. God is just amazing. And that's what I'm here for. God has put me in a really good position to help teach others. I think it's pretty good. So yeah.